Introduction about this book. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them represents the fruit of many years travel and research. I look back across the years to the seven-year-old wizard who spent hours in his bedroom dismembering hawk clubs, and I envy him the journeys to come. Please don't read my mind. Well, as a child, I mostly spoke inside my head. Um. I had conversations with the clouds, the dogs, the dead. And they thought me broken, that my tongue was coated lead. But I just couldn't make my words make sense to them. If you only listen with your ears. I can't get in. I do have a few things actually. I know that you have rather back and forth about the mission. And I spend my evenings pulling stars out of the sky. And I'd arrange them on the lawn where I would lie. And in the wind I'd taste the dreams of distant lives. And I would dress myself up in them through the night. While my folks would sleep in separate beds. Wonder why. Hufflepuff! Well, I'm, I, I'm sure people like you too, huh? Not really, no, I annoy people. Mrs. Scamander fears what more than anything else in the world? Having to work in an office, sir. Why do strange creatures love you so much? Well, there are no strange creatures, only, only blinkered, blinkered people. people. How long did you get in detention for saying that to friend I think it was a month that time. And I set off a dung bomb on his desk so I could join you. Thrown out of Hogwarts for endangering human life. That was an accident. With a beast. And then through them days I was a ghost atop my chair. My dad considered me a cross he had to bear. And in my head I'd sing apologies and stare As my mom would hang the clothes across the line And she would try to keep the empty from her Ridiculous. eyes well done. So then one afternoon I dressed myself along But here we go, what selfish, irresponsible <laughs> It's a final war, everyone's final war. Your final war? I work mostly with dragons. Ukrainian Iron Betty's Eastern Front. Why? You rescue these creatures? Yes, that's right. Excuse me, nurture, protect me. Let me try to educate my fellow wizards about them. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was a labor of love in more ways than one. No. Why did you keep me around? Because I like you. Because you're my friend. As I look back over this early book, I relive memories that are etched on every page, though invisible to the reader. It affords me great pleasure to think that generations of young witches and wizards have grown to a fuller knowledge and understanding of the fantastic beasts I love through the pages of this book. Newt's Commander.